Meanwhile, opening statements this morning in the trial of two men accused of gunning down Run DMC's Jam Master J. Yeah, he was murdered in a Queens recording studio back in 2002. Lisa Evers is joining us from federal court in downtown Brooklyn with more on what's happened so far today. Lisa. Well, Chris, I literally just ran out of the courtroom where day one of this long-awaited trial has gotten underway today with opening statements from both the prosecution and two attorneys defending the two suspects charged in the murder of the 2002 murder of Jam Master J. Now, he, of course, is an iconic hip-hop superstar, part of the group Run DMC. And one of the things that had happened today, the, the prosecutor was painting a picture of just how heinous this murder actually actually was. She says the two suspects both had long-standing relationships with the victim, that this was basically over a drug deal gone bad, and that they had proof beyond a reasonable doubt to show the jury exactly what happened and that these two individuals who are on trial right now here at Brooklyn Federal Court were responsible. As for the defense, each each defendant had his, his own attorney. They spoke and they, they more or less kept it short. They kept it brief. They said, jury, please pay attention to whatever evidence is being presented because it is not going to prove beyond a reasonable doubt that these two defendants were responsible for taking the life of Jam Master Jay. Now the courtroom was packed, the overflow courtroom was packed as well, and here's what one friend of the late um, Jam Master Jay had to say as he was going into court. Take a listen. You know, I'm here, ma'am, as a good friend, as a good friend of Jam Master Jay and part of the family. And I have, uh, you know, other people coming down today, and we all like family, and uh, we definitely want justice. Justice definitely do, and that's why I'm here today. And there were other people from Queens, from this Jamaica neighborhood in Hollis, Queens, where Jam Master Jay spent most of his life, who were here to show support for his family. There were also some supporters for the two defendants. Now, the judge, I have to tell you, is moving things along in this case fairly quickly. Both opening statements happened this morning, and they're already into the first witness testifying in the court case. We'll have much more for you and a full recap of everything that happened here today coming up on the Fox 5 News at 5, so I hope you'll join us live from Brooklyn Federal Court for that. We're live in downtown Brooklyn. I'm Lisa Evers, Fox 5 News. Chris and Bianca, back to you.